Hello everyone. In this video I will compare my favorite AI browser extensions so you can see which ones have the strong sides and the weak sides and how you can use them in order to get uh, the most insight from any content. As an example I will be using the ScienceDirect website which has scientific articles and this particular one is the article on cognitive neuroscience of lucid dreaming and I will use uh, some popular browser extensions like Perplexity AI, for example, which allows you to summarize the content of the page and also some less popular ones like, for example, Harpa AI and Casper AI here, as well as the Infranodus one that visualizes the content of any web page or a YouTube video. So I'll just go through this article using these extensions and I will demonstrate to you how they work. First, let's start with the uh, Perplexity AI, that's the most popular browser extension. When you click summarize, um, it gives you an answer, which is pretty comprehensive, but it's quite long. And you can read through it and understand what the article is about, but then I don't really know how to continue. So for example, I could of course maybe select uh, some of these, copy and paste it and ask it to tell me more. Let's see what happens here. So in this case I don't really know whether it's getting this information from the page really or not. And uh, again it's quite a verbose response. I think I can actually achieve the same if I go to ChatGPT. But for just a general overview of content I think it's pretty interesting. So perplexity AI can be used for that. And what I also like here is that you can actually choose to summarize the whole domain. So that kind of increases the contextual window. And it can be interesting if the domain is about the same topic, but you see here it's kind of like uh, just talking about summarization in general for some reason. Uh, so it receives a common summarize, but when you select this domain, even though this domain is about scientific papers, it thinks that we need to find content about summarization on that domain. So I find that's a little bit confusing. With other extensions you can actually achieve better results. Uh, what I also like in Perplexity is that you can ask it any questions. So it's like uh, ChatGPT with the web page. Um, let's actually check how that works. So if I go this page and I say tell me how to improve my lucid dreaming and then I click enter as you can see, here it's proposing me some of the advices with the references, but the reference is only to one page, so that's not very convenient because I don't see where it actually took this information from the actual document. But still, it's a pretty good general purpose extension, which I can recommend, although I myself end up never using it because it's too general. Another extension which I see a lot of people use is Harpa AI and it has the automation part and the AI part. The automation part I don't really like because it's too complicated. If you want to automate something I would just use a standard one that doesn't even use AI like um, browser I think it's called, browser flow. So that's a good one if you want to automate stuff. But now we're talking about AI functionality. So inside Harpa AI you have several different options. You can search for something, you can create a summary. So for example let's go for the short summary. Let's see what it does. I click summary here. What I don't like is that it kind of always shows me some images and ads, so, but this you can remove. And here it's proposing me some responses. It's kind of nice because it's short, but it's too general for my liking again because it doesn't allow me to jump into the content and also I don't see again where it's taking this information from. But what I like here in Harpa AI is that I can then reiterate the answer. So I can for example ask it to to increase the clarity of the text just by clicking a button or repurpose text for a tweet for example. Right? So that's pretty interesting because it automates some of the stuff and I like the flows that they offer, you know, that you can add keywords for instance and so on. So they kind of took the most typical workflows I think and then they introduced them into their extension, which 
I think it's pretty cool. So this is a great extension if you would like to have a, some sort of extended conversation with your content. And I think it works much better than Perplexity AI, which is much more popular also. What I don't like about Harpa is that it kind of always pops up here. And the only way to get rid of it is to hide it, which is okay because you can then call it from the toolbar. Uh, but what's nice is that you can drag it actually. And then you also have all this shortcut. So I think if you invest time into using it, it will actually be quite useful. Then we have the extension that's called Infernodus. Infernodus extension visualizes the content of a page as a knowledge graph and then provides you the insights about the main concepts and their relations to one another. So for example here I can see directly that this page is about dream, lucid dreaming, and then we have something about eye sleep movement and if I turn this content, which is pretty cool because uh, I can actually touch the content in almost a physical way, I can also see the different terms that I used in this research paper. And what's great is that if I zoom into one of them, so for example, let's say um, I'm interested in the topic of REM sleep and the increase, I can click on that. And then if I click locate, it will actually jump to the actual part of the article where they're talking about this. So I think this is super useful and uh, very interesting as well. And that allows me to explore this content in a nonlinear way, jumping to the parts of it that I find interesting. And also if I click here, I can see uh, these statements inside the extension itself. And if I like something, I can copy it and add it into my notes or even send it to the built-in AI chat and then elaborate on a certain topic further. So this I find is a pretty cool way of using um, the extension and of navigating content. And what I also like is that if you click on topics, you can see an overview of the main topics. Uh, so for example, I can see that this article is on lucid report, cognitive review, REM activation, brain stimulation. So then if I like brain stimulation, I can click here, zoom in, and then see that it's something about neuroimaging here. And if I click context again, I will see in which context uh, or where exactly in this paper they're talking about this, this topic. So I find that's quite useful for exploring the actual page. And we're not even using uh, AI at this stage too much. We're just using it to generate topics. What I also like is that if you select uh, some topics that you like, or for example, you, you, you would go into gaps and ask the extension to show you where there's a gap in content. Like for example, here between brain stimulation and sleep signals, not only you can see what this gap is in the actual context of the paper, right? So which, which two topics you could connect, but you can also use the AI to generate an, an interesting research question that would uh, help you think how to develop this content further. And this feature I find is really useful because most of the extensions, they only generate summaries, but here it actually proposes me to think with it. I can of course also generate summaries if I click here and then it's going to generate a summary of these topics that I selected, which is also pretty cool because it doesn't generate only the summary of the whole page, which it can do, but I can also select which topics it summarizes for me. So this I find very useful and interesting, especially if you're reading long papers or if you're watching YouTube videos, for example. So this is how Infernodus works. And uh, it can be pretty useful if Let's say you want to explore the content in more detail or jump to the parts of it that you find relevant and interesting. Another extension that I see people use a lot is called Casper AI. And uh, now it, for some reason it's a little bit buggy because I generated the summary for the previous page. So I'm just gonna try to see what I can do to make it generate uh, new insights. So let's see if it can provide something. Okay, nothing here. So I think I need to remove this conversation, which is not very uh, intuitive. And then I load this on that page, summarize the page. So it creates summaries. That's pretty cool. And then you can, again, use the buttons, which is a pretty typical flow for most of the extension that allow you to sort of like generate some uh, specific purpose content from whatever it is that you're reading. So for example, here I can again write a tweet. But I find that's a little bit strange because why would I want to 
something to generate a tweet and not write it myself. But what I like here is that you can elaborate and then sort of engage into this dialogue with the, with the page and ask it to generate some insights for you. Uh, but as you can see, it jumps pretty quickly to the payment page. Um, so that's also something you should be aware of. Oh. Here we have this for extensions, Perplexity AI, which I showed at the beginning, Harpa, Infranodus, and Casper. For me, I personally like Harpa a lot. I think it's really great for this kind of flows that you can have. And of course, Infranodus, because it visualizes the, the actual content and allows you to explore it using this visual representation, which looks pretty sci-fi. Also, I'm working on the Infranodus extension, so that's a disclosure. I guess I'm biased here. But I just wanted to record this video to show you what other extensions I like and which other extensions I use. And so I think, yeah, Infranodus in combination with Harpa is great because they can both allow you to chat with your content and generate some interesting insights and engage into a dialogue with information. Please let me know what you think about it, which other extensions you use yourself. I would be very curious to hear. And please subscribe to this channel so you can get informed when the new videos are out. Thank you.